Great day learners, welcoming you all after a long break. In this video, you are going to learn IGCC topic that is sets. It's purely sets questions. Maybe if some of the questions are going to be probability too. And I guess, I hope that you will be learning how we have to work on the sets questions. So okay, uh, without any delay, we'll go to the video. So we are going to solve the first question that is uh, this is actually the universal set uh, representation for 0580. I mean for that normal extended mathematics students, you'll be having that universal set like this. If you are an IM student, international mathematics student 0607, then you'll be having U symbol, universal set, even that CBSE or other uh, board students will be having this as U. Whereas in 0580, we will be using this representation for that universal set. So they said which is universe here is 1 to 10 where x is an integer. So it's clear that all the num integers between 1 to 10 inclusive of are the universal set. What does that mean by universal set? Which means that is a set we are going to use it or that is a, going to be the world until we are going to solve this problem. We cannot go beyond our world. Right? So we'll write this set in this actually a rows to form which is going to help us a lot for all the sets problem solving. That rows to form is nothing but writing each element as I mean writing all the elements of a set that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And actually the format what they have given is called as uh, set builder form and uh, this one also actually we can say that as a set builder form but they should have defined a variable it's okay it is not in any of the three better forms and the third one is actually in the roster form okay so the square numbers this also will write in the roster form that is square numbers uh, so we can start with 1 4 9 16 25 like that your mind will think actually you should not go because as I said before in the beginning, your world is going to be only these 10 numbers, 1 to 10. You cannot go beyond this. So that square numbers also you should select only from this because as of now, this is what your world. That's what that universal set represents here. And the elements of B, it is already in the roster form, which means all the elements are there. So it is clear. Then first one is write all the elements of universal set in the correct place in the Venn diagram. So how are we going to write it? So all the time you have to find the common place. We know that this is the common place and in the common place what are the elements that are going to come that we have to write it first. So you don't need to check universal set because universal set is nothing but that's elements that we are going to use. So you just have to check for that, that circles A, B, C if it is going to be. Fortunately, here we have only two sets that is A and B. So we have 1 as well as 4 in both the cases. So 1 and 4 will come here. And the 9, actually 9 is not as a part of B, but 1 and 4 as element of A as well as the part of B. So that we are writing in this place. If any other elements are common here, that will write it, else we will be writing in the uh, pure part of B. So this will call as a pure part of B and this one will be calling as pure part of A. So here what are the other elements will come? Yes, 2, 3, 5 and 6. But uh, in the universal set they mentioned that 1 to 10 all the numbers will come but we have written only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 9. So 7 and 8 are getting missed so that will come here 7, 8 as well 10 because we have to take until 10. Right. Okay. So we have written and we will be getting two marks for this. So the next one is list the elements of A union B hold as. So this one is nothing but complement of A union B we can read it. This is union. Union means together A union B and complement. Complement means actually except that the remaining everything. So here except what? For example if they say uh, Tomorrow is a sports day except cricket all the games are going to be there which means except cricket remaining all the games will be taking part in the game. I mean in the sports day. Like that A union B holders means except A union B the rest of everything 
is there in the universal universe in the world as of now our world is only this 1 to 10 so what is a union b so the elements which are in the set a and b are a or b in both the sets what are the elements are there that everything will leave it the rest of them will be writing it and since you are going to write list it so you'll be writing in the set bracket itself you might feel that this set bracket is bad yeah you can write it in the better way now it is going to be 7 8 10 are the three elements which is not in the set both a or b are uh, so that but they exist in the universe so I have written 7, 8, 10 are the elements. The next n of a intersection b bar. What does it mean by a intersection b bar? Actually, that is nothing but uh, I used to say to my students, a intersection b dash represents that it is a uh, pure a, right? Pure a, what are the elements are there? Actually, only one element that is 9 actually. So will be writing that as one but if you are a beginner I will tell you that how you have to find out that element the elements which is in the set a as well as in the set because intersection this will be calling it as intersection whenever you write this you have to read as intersection which means we can even say that the two sets two circles are our two sets are intersecting here so that is intersection part even this one will be reading that as intersection so whatever the elements are there in that actually uh, which means it should be in both the cases so what are the two sets that we have here a so the elements which are in a and b dash what does it mean by b dash except this b the remaining everything so what are the elements will come this 9 will come this 7 will come this 8 will come and then 10 will come okay so now we are done for b dash now we'll do for a what are the elements of a so 9 1 and 4 but intersection means uh, actually I said two things one is B dash and another one is A so the elements which is there in both the cases is what intersection is so which set has which element has come in both the cases only one single element that is 9 here so this 9 alone have come in both the cases so 9 and here actually before that if suppose if they ask what is a intersection b dash alone if they ask you will be writing this as 9 but here they ask n of n of a intersection b dash uh, which means how many elements are there in the set you have to write it it is actually 1 so that's why I have written the answer as 1 and always whenever they write like a intersection b dash which says that it's a pure part of a pure part of a means only this a without that intersection part we have on a right the pure a without having any uh, like combinations or else without any intersections it's a pure part only that people who belongs to a alone living there which means that is what uh, pure a so this a intersection b dash is nothing but pure a will say how uh, Actually, that operation between the two sets should be, it's an intersection. One side A should be there and another side B dash, I mean, except B should be there, which means it's a pure A. Suppose if we have A bar, I mean, A complement or complement of A or A dash, intersection B, it is nothing but, yes, it is pure B because intersection op option is there and one is having complement and another one is a normal one, which means pure B right actually in this question you have seen everything i will be writing uh, each part in that kind of representation so that you will be able to understand this pure part right that we will be saying this as a intersection b bar and this will say as a bar intersection b actually you can even use a dash also a dash a bar both are same actually that says that it's a complement and this is there in both the cases which means it is a intersection b because it's a common part of a and b as i said before intersection intersection is a common or else we can say that the two sets intersecting the place so it is a intersection b it is not even there in both the cases so a bar intersection b bar that rest of the place will be writing like that so whenever you see these terms then you can directly uh, solve the problems again i mean a intersection b bar means that is nothing but pure a a bar intersection b means that is nothing but pure b like that you can have an idea 
So we are moving on to the next question that is uh, second question. The Venn diagram shows the number of elements in sets A, B, C. So just mind the word that number of elements. In the previous one also we have filled with the numbers. How did we fill? Uh, just a minute here we filled 1 4 9 we filled it here here 2 3 5 6 7 8 10 actually here this 9 is one element actually it is who this 9 is actually one of the element here this 2 is one of the element uh, it's just like how we have a name like a such internal curve 2 3 ms Zoni, 6 virat kohli like that uh, we have an element but that has a name actually that has an identity that is 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 9, 1, 4 like that. But if you go to the next question, you can see that number of elements which means this 13 says that in this pure part of A, there are 13 people living. That's why they mentioned it number of elements here. This Y says that there are Y number of people are there. That is what we are going to find it. Right? Okay. So now, uh, we'll start solving the problem. It is easy one A union B union C, which means this three sets value together they say it is equal to 74, which means number of elements in this three sets is 74. They said, right? Okay, so now if you add everything, it should give 13. That's it, that's what it's mean. So 13 plus 8 plus 14 so just I have written pure part of A, pure part of C, pure part of B. Then after that, that common for only a and b that is 12 minus x then 20 minus x then 15 minus x then along with that i should add this x also because that is common for all the three sets that is equals to 74 right so now what i can do this minus x and plus x can get cancelled then after that all the number can be added 13 plus 8 plus 14 uh, and 12 20 15 if i add everything 21 35 47 67 77 82 so 82 and minus x minus x is minus 2x is equals to 74 now what i can do this i can exchange them 82 minus 74 is equal to 2x which is nothing but 2x equals to 8 so x equal to 4 we found the value of x so if you need it maybe we can rewrite everything to that uh, what is this 12 minus x 20 minus x 15 minus x it will be helpful for us for everything that will write it if it's needed we'll go to the next one n of universal set actually i said in the beginning itself it is universal set so n of universal set is equal to 100 which means totally in this rectangle box or in this world there are 100 people but we know here we have 74 which means we need to find out we can easily say that how many people are out of this three three countries or something so 74 are there which means 100 minus 74 is what this y is 100 minus 74 is 26 so y value is equal to 26 we are identifying it next one a union b hold as intersection c in the beginning of previous question i told that a intersection b dash is nothing but pure a so here also we have an intersection symbol and before that we have something else like this but that is complement a union b complement which means a and b complement this set so except this set intersection c means it should be also in c which means first set b dash means it's 8 and y and it should be also in uh, C means it's A 20 minus X X 15 minus X it should be in both the cases which means they are saying about that pure C value that is nothing but 8 why should I write 8 is 8 is an element or number of element actually in the beginning itself we have seen that it is number of elements so 8 is number of elements 18 P I mean 8 people are there here 13 people are there here 14 people are there so n of a union b hold as intersection c like one part one full part is having complement and another one part is not, does not have an operation between them is intersection then we'll say that as pure part of c that is 8 right and actually we did not have any work to replace this x so maybe we are lucky we can move to the next question 
So shade the region A intersection B dash. Yes, just now I said that A intersection B dash is nothing but pure A. So yeah, this one, this part you have to shade it. If you have confusion what you can do, you can do step by step that first you can shade A fully. Then in the next step you can shade B dash fully. So B dash means, so except B remaining everything you will shade it. After that what you will do? So except everything. In these two cases which is common you will be finding it. You can see that only this pure part is common though, so that's what I have shared. Right, actually this is 4, maybe in video it is not visible clearly, it is 4 actually, right. Uh, find the, this Venn diagram shows the number of elements, okay, so this 7, 5 or just not uh, 7, number 7 or number 5, it is 7 people are there, 5 people are there like that in each region. Write down the value of N of A union B dash. You see A intersection B dash means it's a pure part of A. Because B A is what does not have any, I mean, complement. But A union B dash means what is it? Which means except this 5 that remaining everything. So we know that 7 plus 4, 11 plus 3, it is 14. Number of elements they are asking so that except this 5 and it is that remaining everything that we can say easily it is 14. Okay, so since I know it, what is A union B hold as, so I said the answer, but if A union B dash, I said the answer, if you are the beginner, if, yeah, as a student, how you will ensure that it is just uh, B dash, I mean, except B that remaining everything. It is simple, first actually you can go like uh, A, A means fully A you have to take, so yeah, we have taken. Union which means only in the intersection will be expecting that it should be in both the cases Whenever you take union either in this region or else in that region anywhere it is there will be taking it for example uh, If you are going for some other places and they are asking you to show your identity card Either you can show your ident I mean other card or else you can show your driving license any one is fine No need to submit both but whereas if you are going for some certificate verification or something else You should show everything whatever they ask then only you will be eligible for that So if you are going for certificate verification or something you can think that that is an intersection You should show everything whatever is asked that everything should be there common for everything but if it is uh, just for showing you have to prove that you are uh, I mean to somewhere you have to prove your identity then identity card is needed and that is why any one is enough so that is nothing but union so you can take any one is there that is enough so here a a fully we have taken and b dash b dash is nothing but except this remaining everything so this all will come now now when we are writing so previously we already had seven four now 3 also included but actually I drew the diagram wrong because except B means these two will come. You can think that 7 has come 2 times. Do I want to write 7 2 times? No actually because any 1 is there any 1 time only you will be allowed the second time though you have I mean 2 invitations you have you cannot go and attend that the function 2 times. It is log illogical right so just leave it. Um, so first we circled that what is A the next time we circled uh, what is B dash and we'll be writing the elements union means in any one of the place it is there that we'll write so 3 is there 7 is there 4 is there so together it is 14 why am I adding because number of elements so number of elements in this region I have to write it is 14 right yeah so next question is uh, in a survey of 60 cars 25 use diesel but you can check 25 is mentioned here, but in the diagram they have given 8. Actually, the real sets questions are getting started here. How? 25 use diesel, but here they mentioned 8. Actually, we just have a look at it where they have mentioned that 8. Actually, 8 is in the pure part, which means only using uh, diesel is what 8. But in general, some vehicles will be like a hybrid. They will be using both uh, diesel or uh, petrol anything like that so let's see what are the other fuels that they have given here so 25 use diesel 20 use a liquid hydrogen and 22 use electricity but in all the places you can check the pure parts are different which means they have some other thing no cars use all the three fuels so 
with the common part right this is what uses all the three so they said it is no cost which means that will come as zero and next 14 cars use both diesel and electricity so where is diesel and electricity uh, here they mentioned d means diesel e means electricity l means liquid hydrogen so both 14 cars use both diesel and electricity so 14 will come here right actually that too i have to be careful about it because if they say four uh, 14 use both uh, diesel and electricity which means it is saying the region of this fully you see i will explain from the beginning uh, they said it is 25 use diesel right so this set fully 25 that's what they said and using only diesel is this eight using all the three is zero and using diesel and electricity alone is will come here diesel and liquid hydrogen alone will come here and totally if you add everything you will be getting 25 as answer so that's what that's how we have to write it um, and first i have filled that no cost use all the three fuels that i have written here then 14 cars use both diesel and electricity which means this common part for diesel and electricity is 14 so what i have to do if i'm going to write any values here if i have any value in the common that i should subtract and write fortunately it is zero so 14 minus zero is going to be 14 here and next there are eight cars which use diesel only so that they itself have mentioned the diagram 15 cars use liquid hydrogen only yeah this line fully they completed right uh, yeah now use the information to fill in the five missing numbers in the width diagram actually there's two only we have filled the remaining three are there let's see what are the things that we have to we can fill it actually in diesel we have one space but we know that there are 25 cars use uh, diesel Four, 8 plus 14 is 22 plus 0 that's again 22 so here 3 must be there then only this diesel cars are going to be 25 when I fill this 3 in liquid hydrogen is also having the value of 15 plus 3 plus 0 it's totally 18 whereas they said 20 use liquid hydrogen so that here 2 will come and there is no uh, I mean blanks in this electricity or you can check whether it is correct 22 use electricity 15 plus 6 plus 2 plus 0 it's 22 right yeah so uh totally we have surveyed 60 cars and if you add everything i don't know whether it will get 16 or not let's check um here fully it is 25 right 25 plus 15 40 42 plus 6 48 only we are getting it so if we get only 48 in this three region then totally remaining how many is there 60 cars are there so here that must have uh, 12 12 cars must be here because 48 is in this three regions and maybe the remaining 12 cars might be using some other fuels like petrol cng or something right so we have filled it but don't circle this that alone you have to avoid it that rest of them are fine yeah here the 12 has gone we'll write it because how did we get there get to know that this is 12 because this all the three sets are giving only 48 whereas they mentioned here uh, the survey of 60 cars so that the 12 must come outside and this is actually universal set see cars in the survey is universal set so totally it should be 60 next find the number of cars which use diesel but not electricity not electricity means except this but which is there in the diesel and electricity diesel will come so in the diesel remaining things are 8 and 3 why did not we include this 14 because it is their electricity they said no not electricity so this 14 0 will not come only this 8 and 3 will come they did not give any condition for uh, liquid hydrogen they said it is using diesel so 8 3 will come so totally 11 because they asked number of elements <coughs> next thing is d dash intersection e union l d dash which means except d intersection e union l so pure part of e and l so you can ask that when there are two sets how can you say that is a pure part yeah actually without mixing with d is what they are asking that's what says that d dash so without mixing with d dash i mean which means uh, this pure part of l and e this this is what they are asking and here we written the answer as 
11 right yeah so d dash intersection e union l is 15 plus 2 17 plus 6 23 will come here so d dash except d e union l it can be it should be in e and l it should not go beyond that if e union l is not given we'll be taking this 12 also for d dash why we are not taking here because they said d dash intersection e union l so that e union l pure part is what we are going to consider yes we'll move to the next question that is a question 5 in a group of 30 students 18 have visited australia 15 have visited Botswana, and 5 have not visited either country so maybe we'll represent in the venn diagram you can if you are a brilliant maybe you don't need of venn diagram but still you can try uh, australia will use a Botswana, Botswana will use b and group of 30 students will write universal set uh, they said 18 visited Australia, 15 have visited Botswana, 5 have not visited either, either of the countries. So, sorry, 5 have not visited either of the countries. So, 5 will come outside. So, what is we are understanding here? This two sets, this A and B together, it will be 25 because totally 30, this 5 have, have gone, which means this Australia and Botswana should be 25. But if you add 18 and 15, that itself giving us value 33, right? Actually, this you can use it as a trick. Uh, usually, to get to know what are the values are there in A union B, we'll be adding all these values and we'll count it. Like previously, we did try to calculate this 12. We added all the values and we have got it. But now, if you want to find what is a common path value, then what you have to do is, you just add the total of A and B. So, this Australia is 18 and uh, Botswana is 15. So, totally we have 33. How much it is excess? Some of you might say that it is 30. It is not because we are just taking 25 because in a group of 30 students, 5 of them have gone somewhere out of Australia or Botswana. So we are just concentrating one day on Australia and Botswana, which means out of 35 have gone, so totally it should be 25, but we have 33, which means if you subtract both, you will get to know that how many of them have visited both the countries. So 33 minus 25 is 8. So in this common part, 8 will come. If 8 will come, then clearly we know that Australia alone, which means the pure part of Australia alone will come as 18 and then pure part of Botswana alone, totally this 15 and that common part 8 will go, then it is going to be minus 7. How did we calculate that this is 8? Uh, why we did not do any bigger calculation? How we have to do? Just add the two set values and subtract with the total, I mean the A union B value. Here A union B is 25. Then you will get to know each value, then you can easily answer whatever the things that you want. Work out the number of students who have visited Australia but not Botswana. So who have visited Australia, totally 18 students. Uh, you see here, here also I have written 18, it's wrong, no? It is just 10 because out of 18, that uh, 8 have come in the both the countries. So 10 will come here, 7 will come here. So this 10 is pure australia only australia this seven is pure botswana then this eight is both both botswana and australia here they are asking who visited australia but not botswana which is nothing but pure australia so 10 is the answer right yeah we'll go to the next question uh, in a group of 24 students 21 like football and 15 like swimming one student does not like football and does not like swimming so he did not like any of these games so we can write two sets football and swimming uh, so they said totally there are 24 students and one student does not like anything so one will come out of this football and the swimming find the number of students who like both football and swimming just now i gave you the idea 24 and one have gone here which means 23 must be there in these two sets 21 and 15 if you add both you'll be getting 36 right 21 plus 15 is 36. So if 36 is there, this 36 will be subtract by 23. That is the value actually it has to be. So 36 minus 23 is 13. So 13 students have taken part in both of the games. So in this place where in this common part, right? 
this common part 13 will come so obviously here instead of 21 what will come 13 will go there then 8 will come here then uh, here actually 15 13 will go there 2 will come now we can answer easily who like both football and swimming that is nothing but common part they are asking so that is 13 right yeah we will go to the next one it's a shading question a intersection b intersection c that is we know it it is common part of all the three sets that is this center part right then a union b does in the previous question we have seen that b a intersection b does means it's pure a a union b does means except pure a that remaining everything or it should be in a so we shaded a b does b does is nothing but sorry b does is nothing but this values except to be that remaining everything you can think that the common part also we included why because that is part of a though it is not in the part of b union so that at least in any one place if it's there we'll take so we'll take this common also right go to the next question a and b are sets write the following sets in that simplest form so a intersection a does what does it mean by a intersection add a, a does so what does it mean be simplest form actually we just have to think logically and we need to answer what is a so we'll take a set and this is what a uh, and we'll take this also b also we'll take because it will be helpful for us for the last problem um maybe you can draw a little bit bigger just give me a second And we know that what are the parts this is a bar in sorry a intersection b bar this is a intersection b this is a bar intersection b this is a bar intersection b bar now a intersection a bar what is a actually this is a this is b what is a is this full set a dash means except this remaining fully if you take common for both actually when you are taking a this part alone will be shaded when you are taking a as except to this remaining will be everything will be shaded if you see the common between both actually nothing will be shaded right first one this will be shaded the second one except this outside will be shaded so intersection means common so in both the cases what is shaded nothing so null set will be writing so null set will be writing like empty bracket just bracket there are no elements or else you can use this null set symbol also this phi will be saying as null set next thing is a union a dash so we know that a means this circle a dash means this one if you combine both actually that is nothing but everything it is universal set so you can write that as universal set u you can mention it and as i said before if you are an extended student you have to just write this but even if you write you people will be accepting that okay so universal set y a and i mean r a dash so here or here it includes everything so that is uh universal set next is a intersection b so this common part then a intersection b dash that is nothing but pure a so this part and this part if you are combining there is nothing but full circle a so they are saying that just pure a I mean full a not pure a this is pure a this is common part of a if you combine both it is the full a so a will get that's what they have asked in simplest form the first one is there are no common so null set in the second one it is everything there is nothing but universal set in the second one pure a and the common part of a and b so that is nothing but a right yeah we'll move to the next question uh n of a equal to 18 n of b equal to 11 and n of a union b hold as is zero so except these two sets what is there that is zero this set because a union b hold as is zero uh so actually they did not give the name so just this alone we can write it it's out of the two circles so we have written out let's see which will come a b we don't know which is bigger which is smaller and they didn't mention anything about it they say n of a union b equal to 18 
So the two sets together it is 18 they said that is equal to A. So the bigger set is A that we can understand or even by the size of 18 and 11 we can say that this, this is bigger and this is going to be A. Right and now this is actually 11 because they said n number of elements in B is 11 and number of elements in A is don't write that as 18. Why you should not write because 18 is the whole set and you already have given this 11 here so rest of them because this is for just pure part so you should you should write this as 7. Totally 11 plus 7 is 8, 18 for the whole A set but this refers the pure part of A except B so that will come out that is only 7 alone and B is full all the 11 are there. And outside 0 because they mentioned it A union B hold as except the two sets that is 0. Yeah. Next draw another Venn diagram to show that the two sets A and B where N of A union B equal to 28. Actually we should take from this unit um, A union B equal to 29. Usually how we will draw we will be drawing the two sets like A and B. That's how we will be drawing. Uh, in the previous case A union B, I mean two sets value same as A which means the set A is the major set and B is the subset like that we have taken. Why? Because the two sets together value same as A so automatically that another set should be a part of A then only together is same as A. But now uh, it is not same as A. The together two sets are 29. Uh, whereas this is 18, this is 11, something different. So what are we going to do here? Usually how we will do, I told in the previous problems that you will be drawing two sets. You will add these two values that is 18 plus 11 is 29. 29 and here also you will be subtracting with these two values. 29 minus 29 is equal to 0. So whatever the answer you get here that will come here. So this is going to be 0 and this one is going to be 18 and this one is going to be 11 because the same 18 minus 0 is 18, 11 minus 0 is 11. This is so actually but this, if you ask me whether this is the right answer, I will not say that this is right actually because if there are no, you see here clearly we can say that that common part has 0. I mean there are no elements. If there are no elements, indirectly says that there is no common part. If there is no common part, how we have to write? Uh, actually, one set A is here with elements 18 and there is another set B with elements 11. There is no common part between them. Only when they have common part, we have to draw like how we drew before. Like this, we have to draw. If they don't have common part, then we just have to write like this and zero we should put outside. Uh, how we have to know that whether they have common or not actually by using the calculation how we calculated that common part value so much in this previous question so you can see here we calculated that common part value as 13 like uh, we added these two values and subtracted with this then we got in the same way we have to do in this question we did and we got to know that uh, 18 plus 11 as 29 and this value itself already 29 to 29 minus 29 is 0 which means the common part value is 0. Right? Okay, write each of these four numbers in the correct place in the Venn diagram below. So first one is 2.6 we know that this is not an integer and but this is a rational number so we will come here then 4 by 17 it's not 17 dash, so you no need to have a doubt. It's 17 dash. 4 by 17 is nothing, but it's a fraction. We cannot simplify and convert that into integers. So 4 by 17 is also uh, actually a rational number. Next is root 12. So square root of any imperfect square number is irrational. I mean, it is not rational. So root 12 will come out of it. So any imperfect square value, so the square should be extended, is irrational or it is not rational. Actually you should know that it is irrational. So it's out of rational will come. 
So we have I, that's why I have written root 12 here. Root 112 by 17, even this also you'll be thinking that it is imperfect square so that you might put this on outside, but actually you should not. If it is a fraction, you just have to try and simplify it. Like how we tried simplifying 4 by 17, it is it can't be an integer so that we written in the rational part. But this one, when we are trying it, uh, what answer we'll be getting it actually? Uh, root 112 uh, by 7 is actually it's a square number. You see 1777, 1777, 42, 16. So root of 16, it is not imperfect square, it is perfect square, it's 4. And also it's just not a rational number, it's a perfect integer. So you should not write that as a 4 also. How you have to write? You should write the given value root of 112 divided by 7, you have to write. Right? Yeah. So be careful about it. What is irrational that is non-rational or square root of imperfect square numbers and these two One is fraction one is decimal so that will come under rational and this one when we are simplifying We are coming to know it's actually 4 so that we are writing in integers, but we should write in the given form So we are going to the next one three sets a b k are such that uh, A is this symbol is subset a is subset of k like previously we did right a is the bigger set b is the smaller set like that uh, so this can be written as a is subset of b but here they mentioned a is subset of k which means uh, inside k a will come b is subset of k which means b also will come inside the k a intersection b is null set previously could have seen that i used this symbol that's what they have mentioned it here so null set which means in this question we have seen right there are no common elements in the same way this one also so what we have to do maybe we can draw one big circle and we can say that as k and there is one circle that should be inside k so one is named as a then another one is named as b and ensure that they don't have any common like you should not write like this because they don't have common that's what they mentioned that a intersection b is null set null set means there are no element so this is what proper maybe if you wish you can even draw uh, I mean square I mean rectangle for K so this is a and this is B you can do it right yeah so that's it this worksheet has got over maybe if you did not understand any of the keywords like union intersection complement null set number of elements how we have tried pure a pure B so such questions you might have it I will try to give one more video in this with a three sets questions or with the difficult questions in the next video and if you have any questions or any doubt regarding this video you just post everything in the comment if you like the video just give the hit the like button and subscribe to the channel share it with your friends so that they can learn math thank you for watching